Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. It's been a minute. Praise God, praise God. Go ahead and press share tag right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you do not know my title, um, these are perilous times, you guys. I mean, I have a lot to say tonight. And this is a dust saith the Lord. Praise God, praise God. Um, I'm feeling better. Praise God. I don't have that, whatever that was. But the crazy part is this. Every now and then I'm still coughing or, you know, have some mucus or something. I'm like, okay, it's going on for a week. So, but praise God. God is still good. So I'm going to get right into this. If you notice, I put my title. If you are a saint, a believer, a Christian, this is the hour of temptation, says the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got to go in tonight. I don't know if you've been looking at the news or even on Facebook, how so many pastors um, in South Carolina, it was two this week, um, in other parts of the country, pastors, leaders, people in general, you're falling, falling. I'm talking about the lust, spirit, temptation, everything God says. Come on, somebody, money, everything. I'm talking about even gospel artists. I'm going in, some might, you're not going to like me, hallelujah, but I ain't scared, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, it's like the world has come in and, and has told us how to operate. The world has come in and is trying to tank the body of God because he knows one thing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, I'm talking about he, the devil. Knows that if you are anointed, you are powerful. You can break the yokes. Come on, somebody. Off your family. You can break the generational curses. Oh, come on, somebody. You can really lay hands effectively. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing. If you don't have an anointing, you cannot be effective in ministry, period. Hallelujah. Now, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. I, I have fell, fallen too. Come on, somebody. I can't lie. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Hallelujah. But we keep on, okay, God, make me better. God, keep me. You're supposed to learn and discern. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Be careful in this hour. They are sinning in witches. Oh, it's the rise of the Antichrist. I'm telling you right now. Be careful this hour. They're sending people with money so they know you got a need. And if you don't pray and get confirmation, you didn't be connected and have covenant with somebody that's not supposed to be in your life. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. This stuff is real. And a lot of people thinking it's a game and y'all be lying on God. Well, that's God. You know, I'm getting blessed. So that must be God. Let me tell you something. Anyone or anything that takes you away from God or makes you compromise. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Or make you feel like something is not of God. Then that is not God. Come on, somebody. Because God is not going to ask you to do anything outside of his word and his will. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But the devil will. Oh, the devil will. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I've experienced this personally. Oh, come on, somebody. I've had students. Oh, I'm going in. Y'all ain't going to like me. I ain't going to say no names, though. I've had students to set me up, acting like they care so much. Oh, and then things happen. And I had to ask myself, be honest with you, God showed me. I said, God, did they sell me for not? Meaning that you were broke one day, and then I'm seeing all this money come in after I, after I get there. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Because cause I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and act like I am. But I'm a praying woman for real. And if I miss it, my God will wake me up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and say, Deanna, we need to talk. And he'll tell me what you doing. Hallelujah. How you doing it? Why you doing it? And, and, and what you think about the, 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 the after effect of it. Now, all y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That is when you have to say, okay, God, I repent because what I should have did is I should have prayed a little bit more. I should have waited. I should have, I should have been patient. Oh, come on somebody. Because the enemy got everybody thinking that if you don't have cause, if you don't have money, if you don't have this, if you don't have that, that you are not blessed. Can I tell you something? Hallelujah. I remember when I had bus shoes and Calvary Christian Center in Sacramento, California, and people would clown me. Oh, but honey, I had the anointing of God. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I remember. And then when I did get blessed, they was like, well, well, how did you do it? They was acting like I was so anointed. I was always anointed. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, this is right now. You have to be so careful. I didn't say walk in fear. But test everything by the Spirit of God. I don't care if it's a mother, father, sister, brother. That's how they're rolling. These demons are getting into places where they shouldn't be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Nobody should get that close to you, and that's a demon. That's when you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself because here's the deal. 
the enemy knows what you have need of. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So he'll dangle that carrot. They, they know you need money. They know you need a house. They know you need a car. They know you need, 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 need. So they'll send it in. And I'm not saying God won't bless you. But one thing God won't, he won't add no sorrow in it. James chapter 1. He said, when I bless you, I add no sorrow. So if you get some sorrow over the blessing, that ain't God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up here tonight. You got people sleeping with people in the church. Oh, I'm going in. I'm sorry. I just feel the power of the Holy Ghost. You got people that's gay singing uh, 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 in, in, a, in a worship setting. So that means everything that they spewing out. And you wonder why your little girl and your little boy acting crazy. Heck, you wonder why you acting crazy. Because whatever. You see, the anointing trinkles. From the head down. So whatever that person on that stage, on that platform is working with, that's what you get. Let's be real. Even up on here. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why I, I be careful. I'm careful when I get up on here. Because people think, oh, this is just a platform. Honey, let me tell you something. Anytime that you say that you are a minister of God, an apostle of God, or anything of God, then you have just stepped to the altar. It don't matter if it's Facebook, crook book, look book, honey, and God is watching. You don't hear what I'm saying? To see how you operate. To see what you do. Because I promise you, if it's not of God, he's going to shut you down sooner or later. Or oh, some of them getting away with it. But it's going to be a sooner or later. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm telling you right now. Because sooner or later, if you ain't right, you're going to have to pay for what you're doing. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just being real up on here. Too many people playing. People dying. We got a whole world out there dying. Kids dying. People killing each other because people don't have the real anointing of God. People are not praying anymore. People are praying. P-R-E-Y-I-N-G. And to be honest with you, everybody after that money. Everybody after that honey. Everybody after that funny. Oh, come on, somebody. People are letting lust take them over. Lust take them over. Um, um, greed. Um, anger. Well, how do I stop this apostle? You got to get close to your God. And I'm going to say it all the time. I get up on him. You got to get in that Bible. You got to repent. Come on, somebody. It doesn't matter who it is. Come on, somebody. Because we all fall short of the glory of God. But you have to repent and say, God, keep me. And, and, and be honest with yourself. Because we all know when we did wrong. Hallelujah. Said wrong. Going wrong. Nobody got to just tell you. You ain't got to be no prophet to understand that you are doing wrong. Or you are in error. The Holy Ghost going to tell you. So I'm telling you right now, test everybody by the spirit. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't play with witches. I don't play with witches. No, let me be real. I don't play with nobody. <sighs> I'm about to say it, Lord. Let me tell you what's wrong with the body of Christ. The Bible says that if you have one friend, you have more than enough. But I'm going to tell you something. In this hour, your friends is what's actually Some of them setting you up. Some of them taking your anointing. Some of them draining you. I'm not trying to be against friends, but you need a little bit more than a friend in this hour. I need a sister or brother that know God, that can pray, hallelujah, that can fast with me. That, oh, they ain't going to get mad at me if I don't do what you say or what you think I should do. I don't need no friends. I need co-laborers. I need brothers and sisters in Christ that have the anointing of God. Don't play with me now. Don't come here playing with me. Hallelujah. Because uh, I tell you, anybody I tell you, I don't play. Yes, I love you, but I will tell you, brother, sister, mother, father, sister, I don't care, daughter. It don't matter who you are. Don't come playing with me and we're going to be cool. Because I do this for real. That's all I got. And to be honest with you, that's all we do have. Some of you, you, you have left God. You used to pray. Oh, come on, somebody. You remember when you first got saved? You used to pray. You used to tell people about God. Everybody up here, not, not just for the numbers, trying to go viral or get that money <laughs> and losing your soul at the same time. Then, oh, Lord, and I know somebody going to see this and say, oh, she hating. I knew he was going to say it sooner or later. And I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Lord have mercy. I'm about to say it. How you going to sing gospel and you ain't anointed? Mm. Stop playing. Stop playing. We see you. Just say you want to be famous and go be secular. Because if you are not walking in the power of God and the presence of God, then you are serving the enemy, honey. Stop playing. Stop playing. And I wish you would contact me and ask me if I'm talking about you because I would say yes. Nobody's scared of nobody. That's what's wrong with the church today. Nobody want to tell the truth no more because guess what? They're getting their money. Are they getting famous? I don't care about all that. 
Because I'm going to tell you what my reward is, and it should be your reward. Baby, do you have the anointing? Can you lay hands on yourself? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Can you speak to that situation? Can you pray for that brother? Can you pray for your family? Can you break that generational curse? Because if you ain't got that, you ain't got nothing, honey. Because that stuff going to go sooner or later. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just being real. I don't got time to play games. And I'm going to tell you something else God told me. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to get up back on here. I, I can't mix the two. I have another message. So I'm going to go ahead. That's all God told me for this one. And I'm getting ready to get back on because I have another message. But I'm telling you right now, test everybody by the spirit of God. Stop playing in this hour. Play time over. You don't see that evil is rising? Why do you think they're rising? Because he is the God of this world. And guess what? The line is being drawn. Whose side you on? Who you repping for real? And, and some of y'all that straddle the fence, we see you. Better yet, the devil see you too. That's why you ain't got no power. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Talking about you going to pray for somebody. How you going to pray for somebody and you got no power? All right. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless you. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.